There's a man on TikTok going around selling a product that he calls a white white drink and yes, it's just as sus as it sounds because he kind of got into a bit of trouble for this recently and somehow now the police are even involved. And we're going to talk about it today. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. I mean, you don't have to but it would be a lot cooler if you did. Now to understand who this guy is and what's his entire deal, we've got to go back to Uncle Raymond. Yes, I'm talking about that guy who's been dancing around Singapore for the past year or so. Now I've made a video about Uncle Raymond before so you can go check that out if you don't know who I'm talking about. But the main characters in question today are actually part of Uncle Raymond's crew. Now you see, Uncle Raymond isn't always dancing on his own in his videos. In fact, he's kind of formed somewhat of a dance troupe with a couple of recurring characters in his videos. And two of them are actually the main characters in this story. Now it turns out that they're actually a couple and they've been following Uncle Raymond around dancing in his videos. And the husband himself, who's actually the man selling the white white drinks on TikTok, has also done a couple of skits with Uncle Raymond as well. Both of them are better known by their nicknames that people have given to them and the wife in particular has been given a nickname because she kind of looks like one of the ministers in Singapore. So the drink seller and his wife don't just create content with Uncle Raymond and dance around. In fact, the two of them also produce their own skits and I thought we could take a look at some of them. Yeah, I want papa. Yeah, I only make a fuck papa for you. Yeah, I only make a fuck you eat drink for you. Yeah, so that was seamless brand integration right there. 10 out of 10. I mean, at least the husband knows his budget and is very upfront about it. Why are you scratching your best side? I am not scratching my best side. I'm finding my yo eat. Yeah, so that one is a bit different. So I don't know who's behind the camera, but it does sound like the person has a bunch of marbles in their mouth. But that's besides the point because he's apparently scratching his backside and pulls out the product. I don't know if that puts the product in a good light because why would you associate it with scratching your butt? But I guess this is some sort of artistic creative direction that I don't understand, so sure. Okay, the vibes in that one was a little bit different because now it starts off with a whole different character and then the wife seems kind of heated about it because she also wants her husband's white white drink and doesn't want to compete with another lady for it, I think. I don't know. Obviously, it sounds very sexually suggestive and they're not even trying to be subtle about it, but I don't know what's going on with this dynamic, but I'm interested to see how this plays out. Oh no. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, we all saw that, right? Yeah, that's enough white white drink. No more. I guess the wife is out of the picture now. So now the drink seller has two different ladies around his arm. One of them is from the previous video, and I guess now he's bawling and living life because now he has more people to share his white white drink with. I can't believe I even said that sentence. It sounds so gross. Again, I'm really unsure as to what the plan was in terms of marketing this product because it went from scratching your backside to pouring it down someone's mouth in a very suggestive manner. It's just really extreme. So this drink seller isn't the only one taking this very strange approach to marketing this product on TikTok because this is all part of an affiliate program that you can join and be a part of in terms of selling products like this. And other families have also taken the hint in terms of what works in promoting this white white drink. Yeah, never heard of white white drink? Oh, yeah. yeah, make it stop. One epidemic at a time, please. I guess to the drink seller's credit, his tactic was kind of working because soon enough, there were plenty of other people on TikTok replicating his skits and creating parodies of it online. Most of them would actually even feature the actual product in their videos. And in some cases, I wasn't really sure if they were just doing it for laughs or kind of mocking the drink seller and his wife. One of the guys who did a parody video actually then followed up by meeting up with the drink seller in person to kind of clear the air. I don't need to make fire, I need to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I my <laughs> So that's interesting because it does seem like the drink seller is maybe even in on the joke or even aware of all these videos created online. So hopefully he doesn't take offense. Now aside from all of that, even more recently, I'm still seeing plenty of other people on TikTok recreating these skits and buying plenty of those white white drinks in the process. In fact, some people have even bought the drinks to do a taste test. So I guess you can say that the drink seller's tactic is kind of working for better or worse. But it turns out that selling white white drinks isn't the drink seller's only source of income. I love to work 
uh, grab food, everything. So in the live stream clip, the drink seller actually shares that his wife and him work as food delivery riders on the side. But whether or not he's actually proficient as a food delivery rider is not quite clear because there were a couple of clips floating around of the drink seller being involved in a couple of strange road rage incidents while on the job doing food delivery. Now in one of these clips, he was seen driving along the main road with the car behind him filming everything on the dash cam and honking at him repeatedly to get out of the way. But it seemed like he didn't want to follow the traffic rules at that point in time because he then stops the bike in the middle of the road gets off the bike and then stands by the side with his arms crossed, full of indignation. Not quite sure what the drink seller was trying to achieve over there and whether or not maybe he was in a hurry to deliver those white white drinks he was selling, but it's definitely not a good look for him. Now on top of all of this, the drink seller has been facing a constant barrage of comments under all of his videos, poking fun at his appearance and even sometimes making fun of his mental abilities. So much so that he had to come forward in a video to address all these hate comments. Enough la. Stop saying I am mental disability. Mental disabled can do grab food me. And there were also other comments that pointed out that perhaps the drink seller was being exploited to produce these skits to promote the white white drink. And to that, the drink seller himself had this to say. It is collaboration, not exploitation. Me and my friend belong to an MCN. We collaborate with one another linked to product because we receive free sample. So MCN is a multi-channel network and I guess that's part of the affiliate program that involves him and a few other people promoting that white white drink. Don't keep saying as well thing if you are smart as either can pitch if not please keep your comment to yourself and I don't have diabetes. Okay, that was a lot to take in because there were a couple of pointers there that I didn't expect in the last line. So firstly, he clarifies that he's willing to hear people out for ideas. So it's not quite clear again whether or not he's actually the one scripting these skits that he produces. But it seems like he's open to getting ideas as well. But then he says that I have no diabetes. So I'm guessing that maybe there were also people thinking that he had diabetes due to overconsumption of the white white drink. I have no idea. So after the drink seller made all of these clarifications, I thought that would be the end of the story. But no, it turns out that it was only going to get worse. So buckle up and strap in because it's going to be a wild ride. So sometime in March, there was a bit of chatter going around TikTok that apparently the drink seller's wife had a couple of her photos leaked on Telegram. And of course, all of TikTok went into a collective meltdown when news of this scandal first broke. So there was a lot of speculation as to where these photos came from, who took the photos, and how did they get leaked into a Telegram chat like this. And it turns out that the drink seller thought that the best way to go about this would be to clarify over TikTok Live. I don't know what this drink seller was thinking. No thoughts, hit empty. So in the first of many live streams, the drink seller was in conversation with five other strangers and then somehow he admitted to uploading his wife's nudes on Telegram weeks before he allegedly lost his phone. And the drink seller then goes on to say that his wife says she knows and doesn't care. So the matter settled and it's a victimless crime. Um, that doesn't add up. So did he just admit to his crimes over TikTok Live? Because that's truly insane. This whole thing seems like a private affair that should have been settled among two adults, but I have no idea why that they decided to take it over onto TikTok Live. And somewhere in the middle of this live stream, he goes on to clarify whether or not he actually drinks this white white drink he's been promoting all this while. Do you actually drink the white white drink? Yes! Wow! At least he's walking the talk and he really does have a passion for this white white drink I guess. And then for some strange reason, the drink seller then decides to go on yet another live stream to share his side of the story with a whole bunch of different people. It seemed like it was mainly led by this one guy who is known on TikTok for selling $2 biryani. And for some reason in these live streams, it seemed like the biryani man was taking it upon himself to uncover the truth behind all of these leaked photos and it seemed pretty aggressive in certain parts as well. Cheap. So you want to come down now or not? If you want to talk, we talk. I don't mind. Yeah, I am talking to you, but you don't want to listen. If I go there, you will. That's how I want to talk to you. Yeah, I'm not sure about those noises that the biryani man made, but that was just a taste of how intense the entire live stream was. And it was pretty heated between the biryani man and the drink seller himself. Now, it's also worth pointing out at this point that while the live stream was happening, the drink seller was actually participating while he was actually at the police station making a police report about the leaked photos of his wife. It's entirely unhinged. I don't know what this drink seller was thinking, but doing a TikTok live while making a police report at the police station isn't immediately the first thought that comes to mind. But for some reason, the drink seller decides to go on with the live stream anyway, and then he proceeds to share more details about what really happened with the leaked photos. I got a consent. I okay. have already told the police officer. 
Okay. If you want to lose the police report, come down to Bongo NPC. I am no. now waiting for you all. Okay, you don't step big f all, just listen. Yeah, so it wasn't really clear if the Briani man was on a fact-finding mission or just there to antagonize him. Couldn't really tell. But mainly what I gathered from the live stream is that according to the drink seller, he got the consent of his wife to take those photos and the reason why he took them in the first place was to preserve her memory in case she passes away. I'm still not quite sure about that reasoning to be honest, but we'll just have to go with what he said. So aside from the live stream, the Briani man then goes on to make a couple more videos explaining his entire investigation into the drink seller story and whether or not the drink seller is telling the truth. He then followed up with a video where he kind of seemed like he was making an apology. I'm sorry that I found evidence. The pictures were leaked way before you lost your phone and I reported it with evidence straight to the police. Wonder, 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 barbecue Okay, that's a plot twist I didn't see coming. So yeah, all in all, this entire situation is a hot mess. I honestly have no idea what the conclusion is because all we know is that the drink seller made a police report and so did the Briani man. So I guess it's really up to the police to do their investigation. I still don't quite get this drink seller's fascination with discussing this entire sensitive issue over TikTok Live when he could have perhaps been just focusing on selling those white white drinks. But if there's one lesson we can all learn from this, it's don't drink and live. YOLO, say no no. YOLO, no no. YOLO, you only live once.